Hello, beautiful, wonderful people. My name is Vine North Graves, and this is another episode of Jazz Story Time. Ah. <laughs> Today, I'm going to be talking about a fun little tune from 1919. This is a nice little swinger called The World is Waiting for the Sunrise. So, let's jump into it. Womp, 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 piano cam. Just sang a little bit longer. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna play in the key of F because I seem to like that one lately. So here it is. the tune two different ways um, yeah so this is a really fun little tune It's very flexible and I think this contributes to a lot of the songs success so in 1919 this was written by Ernest Seitz and the lyrics are by Eugene Lockhart now Ernest Seitz was a classical pianist um, so he wasn't really known or maybe he didn't want to be known for some of his jazz contributions so he used a pen name Raymond Roberts so if you ever see Raymond Roberts on a song or credited to Raymond Roberts it's most likely actually a song by Ernest Seist. So uh, moving forward Isham Jones had a number two hit with this in 1922 um, in 1946, there was a recorded broadcast of an uh, opera singer named Gladys Swarthout. I believe that's how you pronounce her name. If I'm wrong, you can correct me. Um, and she did this in a very operatic, classical sort of style. Um, in 1950, I think the version most people are familiar with is the Firehouse 5 plus 2 version, which gets quite raunchy, raucous, all kinds of party jazz at the last chorus. It's like it's getting on ahead. Um, but they've done this as a banjo feature as well. Um, moving forward, Les Paul and Mary Ford have a pop hit with this in 1951. I think um, generally, the general public probably doesn't think of Les Paul when they think of traditional jazz songs. Yeah. Um, in 1976, Les Paul has another hit with this song, um, as a country song with Chet Atkins. So this song, like obviously throughout history, very flexible, um, jumps through a lot of genres and can be played in a lot of different styles. Something else that's really cool about this song is that uh, the second chord, um, I think can be played two ways. You can play it as the five augmented. So it or um, some people maybe in a more um, country style, you might want to play this as a seven dominant. Two different ways, right? Um, anyways, uh, yeah. So in F major, the key I'm playing with, that would either be playing it as a C augmented or playing it as an E7. Two different ways you can do it. Depends on how you want to improvise. I think uh, most jazz players probably prefer the augmented chord, and I think that's what's actually originally written. Um, but it's kind of more fun for improvising because you can use the whole tone scale or something like that over it. Ooh, baby. Okay, so enough about harmony. Let's sing it out and wrap this up. 
Dear one, the world <laughs> is waiting for the sunrise every rose is sprinkled with the dew. On high, his sleepy mate is calling, and my heart is calling you. All right, there's the tune. My name is Bonnie. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Bye.